Hi, I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supply. Today we're going to try the 5X arrows from Fivix. So these were given to me by Fivix to try. They're 450 spine, so they're a little bit stiffer than the 500s I'm shooting at the moment. So I've just made them up and I want to talk about that and then we're going to try them. I haven't shot them yet, so that they could go anywhere. So they're slightly stiffer, so I would suggest they're going to go to the left of the target from where my existing arrows are. They might be a little bit heavier, so they might go down a little bit. We're going to shoot fletched and unfletched arrows to see how the spine is. And I'm just interested to see how they fly. Now I'm going to discuss the tolerances to start with. The pin knocks went in beautiful, like the best tolerances I've ever had. So they were pressure fit, didn't need glue. The points were brilliant, they just like pressure fitted in. Very tight tolerances and probably the best I've seen of all the arrows. And the quality looks really, really good. Now they are expensive. So they are expensive. The print looks beautiful. Um, so let's try them. Now I've got some Panderas um, CA320s. I've been shooting these a fair bit. Um, we're going to try these to see where they land in comparison. Um, so this is just me testing arrows, right? So it's not that I've tested them and I'm ready to shoot scores. This is just me going, let's see where they land in the target. Um, this is, so this is a blank shaft. Now, normally I would do this closer because you, you run a risk that you're going to miss the target. Whoa. <laughs> so far to the left. And that's the difference between, <laughs> between 450 and 500 spine. It's that much. It's huge. Now the bow has been tuned. <laughs> the bow has been tuned for the 500 spine. So the 500 spine a little bit softer, so it's going to flex more, so move more to the right. These arrows are stiffer, and they have, instead of having tungsten points, they have stainless steels that are longer, so they're going to be stiffer in the spine. So they're probably going to act more like a 400 spine. But boy, that almost missed, and that would have been uh, a terrible start. Now I'm going to shoot my normal CA320. So tungsten point, now the reason why the tungsten point will be a hay as a soft as a softer spine arrow is because the tungsten point doesn't go up the shaft as much so it's not it's not making this shaft as stiff so these are 500 spine i was so lucky not to miss <laughs> you can see that's good um, I think it's good. Now we're going to try one with veins. Now part of why I chose 450 is I thought the spine, I thought the 500s were a little weak. So I'm shooting around 54 pound. Um, and I wanted to go up in, I wanted to go up in strength. So hence the 450. Now you can see the difference between the fletched and the unfletched arrow. There's about 30 centimeters, 12 inches at 18 meters between the 450 and the between the fletched and the unfletched. And you can see the difference between the 450 and the 500. Now the height's about the same, so that means that that's a good thing because it would suggest that the spines, the spine, the weight's similar, so I mean it should get similar speeds. Now what's also good is the knocking point's good. Um, now I might be able to tune this out of the bow. So using the plunger. Now I don't want to do that with this bow because this bow is set up for the 500s. And this is why I then have a second bow to shoot these arrows. But basically, and the reason why I don't want to do that is because this bow's set up. So this bow is all set up the way it is, it's shooting great. 
you don't want to go and go new arrows, play around with plunger tension and all that, because then you can't go back to your old arrows. So I want to keep shooting my old arrows, I'll set up another bow with the heavier limbs for the new arrows. So that's the Fivix. I um, mean, you can see the difference, I'm hoping you can see the difference of the angles in the target. The 450s are kicking. And this is why as a shop, it's so hard when a person goes, what spine do you think? Because you know if you guess, and you guess wrong, the people are going to say, well, you guessed wrong. Like, it's, it's half the spine difference and such an impact down the target. And different limbs and different draws and different point weights all makes massive amounts of difference. That's why recurve archery is so hard. <laughs> it's literally taken me ages to get here. I've only jumped up half the spine. And the reason I jumped up half instead of going to the 400 is because I went to 400s and I found them too stiff. So then I'm like, well, I really need the 450s. So here we are with 450s and they're still coming in too stiff. Now with tungsten points, they'll probably be okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some new, another bow. Um, so I'll set up another bow, get the 5Xs to work, and we'll do videos on that. But just on the 5X Fivix, a little bit thinner than X10s. Um, tolerances are amazing, with such a tight tolerance on all the arrows. Because sometimes when you're making arrows, the, you know, some pins are tight and some are loose. The knocks fit on the pins perfect. Sometimes they're a little loose, sometimes they're a little tight on certain arrows. They were just perfect all the way through. Anyway, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies and I'm extremely lucky those arrows hit the target. Thanks for watching. Bye.